What a lovely song. What a lovely song. As I say, good morning. Good morning to our listeners of DBS Radio. And I say as well, good morning to our viewers. Welcome to another edition of Road to the Throne. Yes, we are back again with this program. Episode number two, it is the final one as well. And uh, like we had fun on Tuesday, we're going to have fun again today. I'm just making sure that everything is working out well for me. Right, so we're going to have fun again. If you missed the first part, which was aired um, on Tuesday, as I said, of this week, then you can catch it on the DBS uh, Facebook page or on the YouTube channel. It's a special program on DBS Radio that we do every year where we, we, we take an in-depth look at the participants for the Miss Dominica pageant. So we had contestant number one, number two, and number three on Tuesday. And today we have contestants number four, five, and six. And Monel is like a contestant as well. So she's here with us as well. So apart from promoting the Miss Dominica and um, capturing it on the news as well, we see the platform to strengthen the area of public speaking for the young ladies and to hone their skills, so to speak, um, and help them prepare for the interview segment. They don't know what I'm going to ask. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to ask as well. But we're going to have a conversation, and that is important. So we'll let it flow, and we'll, you know, we'll have fun on the program, and that is the overarching goal. Let us have fun. Let us sit in a comfortable environment and speak, okay? At some point, we'll open up the lines to, to hear from you and to extend um, an opportunity as well to wish them well. So our listeners, I'll give you the numbers again. Uh, well, a little later, I'll give you the numbers. And, uh, yeah, give your comments, you know, give them a big up and things like that. Send your comments on Facebook page. And let's rally around the, our young ladies who have made that bold move to go up on stage and represent Dominica at an event of that magnitude. This is a big event. This is the biggest um, pageant um, event in, in Dominica. So I wish you all the best. So this morning, we have the final three contestants. We're going to hear from them, even before I hear from Monel. So let me say good morning to you, ladies. I know you have been here early, but it's nice that we can come and sit, you know, and get ready for this. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Wow. I love this. That's like a choir. <laughs> good morning, girls. Ladies. Good morning. Okay, good so I was waiting for the good morning again. All right. It's a pleasure to have you on. Lovely people. Number four, let's start with you. We're going to start in order. Tell us Hi. who you are. Hi, good morning. I am 24-year-old Kian Bastian from the community of Stock Farm. Right, and next one in the Bonjour. middle. Okay. Bonjour tout le monde. Nom moi c'est Denise Denise Dora, hod T. Soufrère, that is Pilit Soufrère. Eh, eh, then he said, but you understood an assignment, man. <laughs> you had to read the Creole, eh? Yes. You had to read the Creole. You had to represent Spirit <laughs> Sophia like that. Hi, good morning. Good morning, listeners. I am contestant number six, Kiana Dyer, representing the Queen's community of Mon Daniel. All right, and it's a pleasure to have you on as well. As I told you all, we're going to have fun. We have nothing scripted, really. We're just going to, you know, let it flow and find out who you all are. Hi, Monel Alexis. Of course, Monel has a big position as the communications and public relations specialist at the Discover Dominica Authority. Good morning to you, Monel Alexis. Good morning to you, Ivone, and good morning to all the listeners of DBS Radio, those live on Facebook and also those on the radio. And thank you very much for having us here this afternoon, this morning. Whoa. No, we the hustle a- is real for you. <laughs> so it's the days and the time, you know, it's like a mix. <laughs> we had a wonderful time last week, earlier this week, and I know that we're going to have a wonderful time with you here in studio. So mm-hmm. thank you once again for having us. All right. So I, I, I get ready myself. I know from Tuesday to now, I guess a lot of things would have, you know, taken shape. Yes. So as we go along, you'll tell us about that. I know the hustle is real for you as well because you have to move around with them and do your do at the office and go out and all of that. We, we'll put that in, in proper context uh, as we go along. But ladies, I want you to help us to get to know you better. Um, so we will go ahead again in order of your appearance and um, on stage, four, five, and six. Who, who, who are you? Contestant number four, tell me. I am a Sell young. Sell yourself to me. I am a young entrepreneur. I own two businesses, Cutie Staging and The Blow Up. They encompass events and interior decor. I am an avid traveler and YouTuber. Yes. Mm-hmm. No, there's more. There's more to you. There's more to this lovely lady who sits in front of me with this beautiful top and all of that. Tell us about your community. Where are you from? Um, well, and what drove like you into pageantry as well? 
Yes, like I mentioned before, I'm from the community of Stock Farm, mm -hmm. born and raised. I got my interest in pageantry from a young age, from attending the various national pageants and always seeing myself being on one of these platforms one day. And here I am, pursuing one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you consider, consider yourself um, as a queen on a mission? Yes, I I do. And, and why? That's, that's why? one of my taglines, actually. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. So 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 why 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 did that concept come about? Um, what strengthens your resolve to 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 be a queen? I I am a person who believes in service, and my life philosophy is about bringing awareness to social issues. I have developed that. From high school, I was once a part of the Levy Dominic Awareness Group for campaigning against gender-based violence. And I am also passionate about child abuse protection and other areas like culture and arts. Interesting. Later on, you will tell me about your platform. Yes. You will tell me about um, your, your, your lively community. So we'll talk some more. But let me go on to Dennis Yalura. And um, in right in the middle, pageantry is nothing new to you. Um, in fact, when I read about you, Dennis, yeah, I, I realized that you have an affinity for pageantry. That's what I saw. Um, so you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But, but, but tell us about that, um, Miss Denesia, and this affinity for pageantry. Pity Sufri, of course, has a rich cultural heritage. I want you to tie that in. Um, tell us about who you are. When I visit the area of Pity Sufri, I'm always, always in awe um, of this beauty, that, that, that space, um, seriously. So I want you to, as well, sell your community for me. But, but tell us about um, Denesia. Okay. Then he said the news Laura is a quiet individual. However, I am very adventurous and bold. In my community, I am a member of several groups, such as the Prince of Ray Cultural Group, the Duke of Edinburgh Chapter, and the Eastern District Youth Council. And all of this which provides me with the qualities and the leadership skills that I need. And it basically, it basically put me in the position that I am in now. Now I am more confident in myself, and I have a love for pageantry. I actually grew up in a household I love pageants, my mom, my sisters. So I didn't have a choice but to love it, you know. You know? So I participated in numerous shows. I attended the Casper Secondary School where I went for Miss CBSS. I emerged a second runner-up. Then I went to the Dominica State College, where I emerged winner. And here I am today as a Miss Dominica 2024 contestant. It is something that I just had to do for my community to make them proud. And because of a rich, and because we have so, so much of a rich culture, it's basically helped me to be where I am. And I can showcase that on the nights of the show. Let me stay on this rich culture that you speak about for a little, a little while, because there is something about the P.D. Sufria cultural group that you know just puts the icing on the cake where culture is concerned. That cultural landscape in Dominica. Um, have you ever been involved in the group? Do you like to look at them? Have you gone to their practices and things like that? As previously mentioned, I am a member of the Peace of Fair Cultural Group. Oh my goodness. Yes. Well, it's my fault. <laughs> it's always good to listen. Yes. I was kind of distracted at the time, but, but that's all right. I'm a member. So re emphasize, you know, put me in my place, girl. <laughs> Let's go. Tell me. I'm actually a member of the Peace of Fair Cultural Group where we partake in numerous different dances, traditional dances, such as our uh, Healan to cultural. Culture is actually my favorite, though it is long, but it is my favorite. Yeah, it's long? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is really long, but it's a beautiful dance. Indeed, it is. <laughs> it is a beautiful dance. So you're on stage dancing. Yes. I'm and what goes doing. through your mind at that time when you're dancing that quadrilla long dance, but you have to do it gracefully, effortlessly? This is my time to shine like no other. Yes. Mm, interesting. Like wow. That's, that's nice. Kiana Dyer, let me come on to you as well. You sit there looking wriggle and all of that. <laughs> how, are you, well, how are you doing? How are you doing? This I'm good. I'm good. Thank mm -hmm. you. So, Kiana. Wow. 
the technician is trying something. Let's let, let's fix it. Let's fix it. We'll ensure that you come out clear and there'll be no screeching to frighten you <laughs> somewhat, you know. All right. So tell us, who, who is Kiana? Kiana Dyer is a 20-year-old young lady with a passion for being involved. Many people know me for being involved within my community, my district, I should say. I shouldn't just limit it to community. But I am part of the Western District Youth Council. I am an avid cultural ambassador, I would call myself, being a part of the Africulture Stilt Workers, where I was since the age of six. I'm also very involved within my church community, where I am the president of the Altar Serving Group and the youth group. Ah, the president of the Altar Serving Group. So the church has taken this seriously. Yes, So they're altar so. servers, and you have a committee, sort of, and you yes. you spearhead that committee because you're the president. That's Most interesting. Definitely, yeah. Wow, wow. Does pageantry run in your veins? It does. I actually hold the title for Miss CHS 2019, Miss Teen Dominica 2019, and I represented Dominica originally at the Miss Hinsmith Caribbean Talented Teen Pageant, in December of 2019, where I got the title of Most Talented Teen. Mm -hmm. So you won Miss Teen Dominica in 2019, right? Yes. Oh, wow. So that sort of inspired you to even go on to bigger things, I would imagine? Most definitely. After being involved, after, after participating in the Miss, Domin Miss Teen Dominica 2019, Miss Dominica was most definitely on the bucket list. It, I wanted to go up for Princess Show, but I guess my mommy's heart wasn't as strong at the mm, time. I know. And having the support imagine. of school from for Miss Teen definitely spearheaded my journey into the Miss Dominica pageant. All right. Um, a little later on, I want to go. I want to look at your platform. So I had an opportunity to read the platforms of all the girls. So I really want to go on that because that's a very, very important segment of the show. But even before we go on this, let me ask you, though, Kiana, um, so far, what would you say has been the most defining moment for you on that journey? The most defining moment? Was it, is it the practice? Is it like um, just the, you know, having to speak to people um, more often than before probably or, or more people at any given time? T tell us. No, I don't. I think it would be the practices because you really have to be consistent with your practices and consistency can get tiring without breaks. And because we, well, I have a goal to accomplish, then breaks to me should not be an option. But at the same time, I don't want to tie out myself and crash. So I think consistency with my practices is really what has been going. Right. Monel Alexis, consistency with her practices, and we hear from the other ladies. Um, but how, how important is this aspect, consistency with the practices? From where you sit and how much involved you are with them, how do you see this working to their benefit? Consistency wins the crown. I recall one pageant, and the girl or the, the young lady who was most consistent in all the rounds, even as, even as she did not cop the awards, she still won the competition. So I think it's critical <laughs> to remain consistent throughout the entire process. Hmm. And, and on Tuesday's program, we spoke about that. Yes. And we have to talk about that again today. Mm -hmm. And I know sometimes, and I like when you mentioned the importance of taking breaks, because even as you're consistent all the time, you're, you have to remember you're human too. You have to make sure that you as an individual, you are okay before you head to the stage, because what you want is to do your best. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's important to remember it's not just about winning or trying to win every round. It's important to do your best in every round and ensure that you understand the judging criteria. And for details of the judging criteria, you'll find it on the night of the show. But um, it's critical that the contestants understand the judging criteria and work towards being consistent or on the top of their game for every round of that competition. And in that way, they, mean they remain consistent. Ladies, I, I want to ask you a question that I asked the, the ladies on Tuesday as well. Um, and I was asking them, does it, like, sometimes in your, your moments of solitude, um, after a hard day probably you exercise, you, you, you've gone through the rigors of treating and all of that, do you sometimes put your hand under your chin and say, but, chin, and say, but why did I get myself into this? <laughs> or what have I gotten myself into? Like, seriously. Yes, Definitely. I have had moments like that, like, am I really doing this right now? Wow. 
And uh, I even find myself surprised when I do certain things during my practices. I surprise my own self. Like, whoa, I can really do this? Wow, okay. So we have Kiana, we have <laughs> Kian, yeah. and we have Dennis here, right? Yes. Not in that order. So we have in that in the order we have it, we have Kian, yeah. Kian. then Dennis here, and yes. Kiana. Wow. <laughs> KDK. All right. L <laughs> let us go with this. So what about you, Dennis here? Have you ever felt that? You know, that need to just question and say, boy, why did I find myself in this? Most definitely. Um, going up from Miss Dominica is way much more work than any other pageant. And you have to put in more efforts. And normally on a normal day when I do reach home, I'm like stressed. I'm like, Dennis, did you really put yourself in that? But then I remember that this is what I actually want you to do. I'm a pageant lover. I know people that I know people who is supporting me and behind me and will definitely be there along my journey to help me through it. And I have to make them proud. So I have to keep my head held high and do what I have to do in order to win the crown. Of course. You're in it already. It's <laughs> too you are too far to turn back now, in mm -hmm. any case. So you just have to go with it, right, um Kiana? How how do you feel about that as well? When you said that, the first thing that popped into my head was several times after work, I've wanted to just go out with friends. Maybe we're having a get together. Maybe we're just bonding because we haven't seen each other for a while. And it's like, you almost feel bad for turning them down and saying, no, I can't come. I have a practice. Or can we do it at a later date? And when that date reach, I still cannot attend or a later time. And it's like your social life is non-existent. Non-existent. Yeah. And I really, after this journey, because we are so goal-oriented, I really have to say, okay, guys, mm -hmm. all the dates that I owe you all, I'm ready now because before the pageant, during the journey, during the practices, it just couldn't happen. Wow. Cannot happen. Wow. But you have reached a stage where you, you, you tell yourself, yes, I'm there. Yes, I'm, I'm content with it. And it, I'm going, you know, all the way with it. Yes, with everything, these two shall pass. And afterwards, eventually, I'll have all the time in the world, hopefully. And everything can happen. All right, everything can happen. You have to be determined to succeed. You are there already, so you have to make the best of it. Exactly. Seriously, you have to look to how you go forward and how you push. You know, on that trajectory as well. Okay, so we will take some calls a little later on the program. I'll, I'll give you an indication as to when we'll take the calls. Um, you could also WhatsApp us though on six one six one three two seven, and obviously we're on Facebook, so you can send your comments. You could call us when I open up the lines at one eight hundred three two seven four four eight three two eight four. There's an overseas number three zero five four three two nine seven four four. And yes, yeah, so we'll have a conversation with the girls as well. But it is time to go to the platform. I, I just love this, you know, this the, 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 the platform idea. Um, I think it's a wonderful segment to, you know, an event of, of that magnitude, of that nature. And I want to look at that. So, so Kian, tell us about the, you know, the passionate um, dedication that you, that you have. Um, the one where you advocate for women's health T tell us about this yes my platform is named empower her and it navigates women's health we honed in on cervical and uterine cancer particularly because we identified that this is an area that has very little information but we can also shed more light on it to provide resources and an area for women to connect and be empowered throughout their journeys we created two facebook pages one Facebook page and an Instagram page so far. So people can go on there to get resources and expert advice on women's health in general, cancer awareness and cervical and uterine cancer. We also started sharing information this month on cervical cancer in particularly because we are in the month of January which is recognized as Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. So we are encouraging women to go to get their pap smear done because it sounds cliche but early detection indeed can save a life. So we are encouraging people to do their yearly checks and ensure that they know their status 
in order to be proactive. You see what this journey has taken you on? You're so you sound like a health educator, healthcare provider, you know, someone who would advocate for women and their health challenges. I, I really, really, really love this. Um, what is the review thus far, though? I think you see you mentioned you have a Facebook page and all of that. But what yes. is the review? What reviews are you getting from the public? So far, we, we have been getting reactions to it. And it's, it's a process, um, I guess, over time and even throughout the pageant. People will, more people will come on board and be receptive to the information. And we plan on doing more things after the pageant. Do you believe um, that women should like empower one another to go yes. to the, the, the complex, to, through the complexities, rather, the complexities of, the, of health challenges that they face? Yes, certainly. Support is something that can help an individual. When you have other people you can speak to and relate to mm -hmm. and also share information with, it can help a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. So you're ready to, to talk about this platform more? Yes, I am. And I'm hoping at the end of that journey for you, even after, you know, that you can find some time to continue to manifest this, to continue to work on this. This is very important. Yes, I, I like there's something I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. All right. Denisia, you are embarking um, on a journey with a mission to, to champion the cause of body positivity. What are you saying in this message? Tell this girl. It's all started throughout my journey for Miss March and Marie 2020. During the journey, I got bullied for my size. And eventually... You, you, have, you are petite. Yes, petite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got bullied for my size and, you know... Winning the crown. After winning the crown, I decided that one of my plan would be to go out to different communities and speak on body positivity. And COVID-19 came, so I had to put it on a hold. But given the opportunity of Miss Dominica, I decided that this was the opportunity for me to advocate for my platform, which is Pretty Hurts, Finding Comfort in a Healthy Body. And... I do plan on creating an organization called Pretty Hoots, which will go out to different communities and speak to the youths as well, more specifically on body shaming, how it can affect an individual self-esteem and their mentality, the way that they think. And this is something that we need to be considerate about because it will affect someone ne um, negatively mentally, physically, and spiritually, and we need to be more encouraging. And this is something that we should, which will help in the development of one, of an individual, and in, even our, in our country. That's a huge undertaking. You're on a mission to what? Redefine some of the ideals? Yes. How are you, mm, go ahead. Yes, because some persons may believe like you need to be a certain size to be beautiful, or to, I'm too slender, but that's, that's not the case. You should, people should be able to love the skin that they're in and feel comfortable in themselves. I like this. Yes. I like this. You Google. I mean, <laughs> you're on the right trajectory. I really, really, really you. love this. Um, so so it, I get it, like body shame, shaming is like, like a type of abuse, sort of. It is, because it can affect somebody so bad. I felt away, honestly. And even during this journey, I actually get bullied here and there, but because of the confidence that I now have, I am able to handle the situations way better. And I am very thankful for my journey for Miss Master because it prepared me for this stage. Sai, I love this. I love this. You go, girl. Thank I wish you. you all the best. And um, so you're very confident now, and um, you can face any crowd, and you can yes, walk with your head high anywhere. I indeed. Because I you are who you are gold. already. You yes. are, yeah, you are here, and girl, let your light shine. <laughs> let your light shine. All right, Kiana, my dear. Um, you are taking an interest in a very interesting platform. <laughs> Seriously, I love this. I really love this it, because it deals with cultural preservation. And I'm all for that. There's same something here. with me and culture. It's like it's in my DNA. Yes, yeah, same here. And, same and I, I just love the preservation of this, you know, unique and rich cultural yes. heritage that we in Dominica have. Tell us about this. As I have previ previously mentioned, I have been a part of the Africulture Stilt Walkers since I was six. 
this helped in Since my... Since you were six. So you're on still somewhat? Yes. In the I short ones, right? Yes. What? Brief it, if you consider that short. <laughs> See this little girl on her still swap. <laughs> That's good. This helped in my personal preservation of that particular art of culture. And with appreciating our culture and loving our culture, I've been to many different cultural district competitions. As you know, the cultural division has put on, oh, did a wonderful job in putting together the different district competitions during the independent season. But with that, what I have noticed is that we celebrate our seasons seasonally. So we celebrate Carnival only during February. We celebrate independence only during know, the months of October. And How good and October. pleasant would it be like sometime in, in April or in May? So you just see <laughs> yes, a, 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 why a not? Parade. Why can't we not wear our mattress yeah, in March? Of course, of course. Understand? Yeah. Because uh, some of the comments that we got, because Baba practices all year round. We never stop. It's our... Well, in my opinion, it's my livelihood. And comments we get is, Carnival is over. Why are you still practicing? Or independence is not close. Let's give it a break. But why should that be? Right? Why should that be? Mm -hmm. Why can't we celebrate mm -hmm. independence in March? Mm -hmm. Why can't I wear uh, my warp duet in the middle of the year and call yeah. it a fashion when statement? When I pass on the road, if my warp duet, you'll not tell me about where the action is. Right? Done, you know, we start You're independence right. or something like that. Yeah. Yes, and, the, you, and with that, because that's how our culture is turning, the youth are no longer appreciating our culture, if I should say I like so. this, because you're turning in the youth now. Let's go, girl. But even before you go on with this, I want to find out, though, in terms of cultural preservation and you, where did it come from, or when did it begin? Because obviously, you say you started at 6 o'clock, at, mm. <laughs> at 6, on your stairs, right? But do you have features to show? Did you preserve some of those features uh, in I terms of cultural actually, preservation for, for posterity and all of that? Yes. Okay. Not only is it posted on the different social medias, but I can send the public if you do want to put evidence to my words. Um, Africulture Still Walkers page has a YouTube page. And there you will see me as small as six in Emerald City. You will see me there as small as 10 in Phoenix Fire. And my very first carnival, which was a collaboration with Lime, it was at the time, not Flo, but it was Lime, in our multicolored costumes. I think that's the year we moved from t-shirt and pants to costume, and that was my very first carnival. And it's all there on the internet, and the benefit of the internet is it doesn't get lost, so it will be there to stay. But, but what you have also added is youth empowerment, I think, through the arts, if, I, if yes, I'm not wrong. Yes, youth in culture through the arts. Youth in culture through the arts. How do you see young people contributing to this? And what should we do as the, you know, the older folks to ensure that we pass, on, pass this on? Young people are the driving forces to preserve a country's culture. What the older generation can do is teach us. When you teach us, we teach younger generations and the tradition continues. But if we limit it to just us, because I don't think I know of any young person who I can go to and say, I would like you to sew my warb. They may not be able to do it as perfect or may not be even able to know where to start mm -hmm. when it comes to making a warb. Mm -hmm. I think and there's our, a lot involved in making a warp, most that intricate details that you have to yes. go through and get it right. Right. So having having young people not take the not even not take the initiative, not being having the opportunities to allow themselves to learn about the different cultural arts such as Baba, such as sensei. How many young people can make senses? We know young people run darkies, but do they really know the history behind the darkies? Do they kind of appreciate it and really conserve it? So I chose this art form because I don't want our culture to die. I've been trying my best with the Africulture Suit Workers, along with the team, and we've been doing good. But Baba alone cannot stand as our culture. Mm. We need the different aspects. We have a collaborative cultural aspect in our carnival and in our independent season. We don't, we, we don't want that to go down the drain. Oh, that's good. That's really, really good. You're listening to The Road to the Throne. We have contestants number four, five, and six with us. Kiana, well, before Kian, <laughs> then this year, Kiana, we have to go in that order, KDK, and the lovely young ladies as they get set for their title. Um, you're, you're proud of what you're hearing, I'm sure, Monel, you like the, 
the, the, the major strides that they would have made. We'll get back to that, but let's just see if someone wants to share something with the ladies because we have someone on the line. Good morning. Okay, we lost that call. You'll have to call us back. So, morning, yes, I was asking about preparations, all things are going, how impressed are you, the spa, and I all am, of that. I'm very impressed with the ladies, and I believe that the more opportunities they have to speak, more speaking engagements, they have public speaking engagements, they have, the better they are becoming. So, it's a process of growth. I remember them from their first speaking engagement when they were sashed as uh, contestants for the Miss Dominica Carnival Queen pageant to this very day, and I'm very proud. You're making me proud. <laughs> so they're doing a good job, and I want to encourage the persons in the public, the family, the community to support the young ladies. Because at the end of the day, it's support that drives them to become better. So it's important that if you see or you hear something, and you feel mm -hmm. that that person or that individual needs to do something differently, be it that they speak too quickly or the way their mannerism of walking or something, you point out something, have a conversation. Reach out to their chaperone, you know, give advice. They're all open to mm -hmm. constructive criticism mm -hmm. you know so it's it takes us the community to help them to grow and to be better and as i would have mentioned the other day it's not just about the the journey it's the experience and not just the experience it's the individual and it's not just about winning the crown it's about the growth so the who they are or who they were at the start of the competition it's not who they will be when they end it they would have learned a lot of skills. They would have grown their network. They would have built great capacity that can propel them forward. And it takes, if the onus then becomes on them to embrace everything that they have learned throughout the, throughout the journey and capitalize on it. Because this is a great platform. Before this, we, we, we didn't know much of these individuals. I mean, they were in the communities doing different mm -hmm. things, but here they are on a national stage with all the attention. And they should make the best out of it. Mm -hmm. And the community, I'm hoping, will come out and support and so far they have been doing a good job mm -hmm. i'm happy that a lot of the contestants they they speak very highly of the community and their community support which is great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's all good good advice for you young ladies and take ad take take the advice well eh? and take little things you can from people you don't have to copy what people do but just look at no. Monel, how she articulates and you know how she goes about that too is a learning experience for you because so co always continue to hone your skills you know open that book of life every day because every day you can learn something if you're open to it let's go to the telephone we have someone on the line road to the throne you are on hi good day pleasant good morning to all the queens good and there's a queen among you that giving me a little bit of anxiety um i'm calling from peace super of course my name is Lilia Duran. I am one of the persons who have been working with Dennis here as a, a youth officer over many years. Dennis here, I can say, is a young person who really loves the elderly. She might not capture that one this morning, but being part of Duke of Edinburgh chapter, one of our roles within our group is to volunteer and to give back to our community. And of course, the elderly is one of the areas where we focus and give a lot of love. Dennis, I'm very proud of you. I, I'm one of the persons that can't listen to you to do any interview. So I will be peeping in my room and asking my sister in the hall, Dennis, you spoke well now? What did Dennis <laughs> say? That kind of a thing. But I want her to know that we in the community, we are supportive of her as we speak now. The entire place where Dennis is going to have a meet and greet we have members of the NEP group and their supervisor. We are doing a plen splendid job in preparing and making sure that place will ping piling for tomorrow afternoon because we're going to have a birthday bash and a meet and greet. So Dennis here is coming to meet her people, and we are from Cassie Bruce all the way to Pidit Sufra. We have our Lapo Kabwit, our Black Devil, our Pidit Sufra Youth Cultural Group going to be dancing. It's just going to be, if you want to be part of Carnival, for this moment, Friday night, the place to be is in Pitit Sufra. If you miss it, you're going to blame yourself. Okay. So, Dennis, here I know that I can tell you our people will be supporting you. Tomorrow night and, of course, the night of the show, we're expecting to go down in large numbers with our Tiki Drum. And, of course, when Dennis is on, on the stage, to let her know that you are not alone. We are there supporting you and we are behind the scenes. To ask the fans who want to say thanks for supporting our child. And, of course, Mr. Kowin. Kowin, I hope I'm saying it correct he have been very 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 supportive and part of our community since he's been having dennis yes, helping and assisting yes, Dennis, again the sky is the limit mm -hmm. 
I want to also encourage the ladies that at the end of the show, one person is going to have a crown. And it is important that we know somebody is going to have the crown, that we don't get vexed and we don't boo away and we don't say things. We support and we show love. Mm -hmm. Whoever it is, we're going to be supportive of them. Dennis, yeah, you're always our queen. We love you very much. Thanks for having me. Okay, PRO slash counselor. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Yes, sorry. That is support hi. there. <laughs> I like this. Then it's here that you, I see you smiling. Anyway. No, this woman, I can just cry. I mean, <laughs> oh, the support. Oh, so, okay. Thank you, Miss Lily, and everyone mm -hmm. in my community for the support. As I previously mentioned, they have always been supportive. And I know that they will be down at Carnival City on February 8th in large numbers to support mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much and enjoy your day. Mm -hmm. Kian, tell us about this community support, which is so very important, and family support as well. Yes. How this is, you're not going for you. I witnessed that last week, Sunday. I had a little lunch in my community, and there was an outpouring of love, and I cannot thank them enough. So far, it has been encouraging along the way, and every other day I, I hear, my queen... <laughs> Miss Dominica, you know, and they give me that encouragement, that motivation to just keep going and keep focused. What about the camaraderie, you know, among yourselves? Uh, normally, like every year, you hear um, the, the, the contestants would say that I have six or five sisters, you know. Uh, what, tell us about this, you know, this connection that you all have. So I want to hear that, that answer from all of you. That's definitely how it has been because we have had many opportunities to bond and, you know, get closer to each other. We've had our private practices, but we've had moments where we've practiced together and it has really fostered that kind of relationship. Coming into this pageant, you know, you're going to meet different people with different personalities. So you do not know what to expect. But from our very first day, we just clicked instantly. We all have different qualities and personalities, but it is what makes us unique. And we are able to connect and have that relationship. And even after the show, I believe we will still have that relationship. We actually created a whole group chat. Yes. So we have that connection to keep in um, contact with each other. And I know that we are supporting each other 100%. And whoever wins the crown, then best of luck. And they will be supportive. Mm -hmm. Kiana, how, how do you feel about this connection? Having been involved in the pageant world, I often say that we are the best crop of queen contestants. <laughs> I've had a couple insights on how the journey goes between the girls at practices. And it can have negative and positive connotations to it, but I feel we are genuine. I feel it, it's always so light. It was never tense, never anxious. It was always so light and airy, like we did not even have to try too hard. I mean, most of us came into our practices knowing about each other, but having grown on a different level wasn't so intensive. Indeed. Interesting. Let, let's take a call again. You are on. Route to the throne. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to the young ladies. Good morning. I'm listening. <laughs> I just called to, to wish, you know, wish them well. And probably add a little bit of encouragement um, where the speech is concerned. I, I, I walked that walk many, many years ago, Ivan. I'm sure you do not know that. Hey, hey, Auntie Sonia did not know. <laughs> hey, hey, but I know you, you yes, I know many, you Many, many years ago, uh, I did oh, walk wow. that, that journey. Sibo, yes, so, Sibo, nice. Yeah, um, mm. and I mean, it's an, an uplifting, you know, occasion. Um, brings out the best in the young ladies. But I just want to say, though, that I have nothing against the costumes and the, the evening wear, you know, and that kind of thing. All that is part of the show. But when you open your mouth, that is very important. And I always say to people, speaking fast doesn't mean speaking well. And you need to gather your thoughts before you begin to talk. Because I suppose on the night, you know, everybody's nervous and, and the crowd most times doesn't help. So as soon as a question is posed, the answer comes out. I, I think it is expected that you should be given a couple of seconds to put your thoughts together and, uh, and speak with an accent that doesn't sound too well, you know. 
But um, natural speech is very, very important. And as I say, um, speaking fast doesn't mean speaking well. And I cannot overemphasize that because that is very important. I want to tell young ladies that's a brave move, you know. I mean, it's not easy. Um, people look at everything because they see, they're on the sidelines and they're outside. But those of you who are in there are the ones who have to use your time wisely, make sure you, you get composed. And I heard something the other day when I was listening about people going to sleep at 1.30 and 2 o'clock in the morning. That is a very unhealthy practice. I think you should try to get as much sleep as is possible because it doesn't matter if you practice and you have all this, everything going for you and your book you know, not in sync. So I just want to leave that word of advice. And I will not stay and have a good day, young ladies. All the best on the night. Thank, Thank you. you. It's all the best to you as well. You, you hear this? A lot of advice. Take it. Mm-hmm. She knows what she's talking about. So apart from she going on in pageantry back, you know, back in the days, she has worked with a lot of young people, a former school principal, and we could just go on and on and on and on and on and take the advice well. Take the advice. Take your time to speak. Listen when the question is being asked. Obviously, you come in, if you're pretty gone, your evening wear and all of that, you know, and your heels and you're looking sleek and everything, and you're pretty, and the crowd is roaring because you, you come on stage in this beautiful evening wear. But when you come to open your mouth, you know, make, you know, represent yourself well. So take your time, listen to the question, and, um, you know, answer the question. So listen, there are keywords in a question, you know, sometimes contestants miss. So things like define, and so, so, so you may be asked to define something, but you did not define. You, you, you know, you, you answered another way. So there are key things that you can take. Listen to the question. You know, arm yourself with knowledge as you, as you go along and prepare. And, yeah, just, you know, just be yourself on stage and represent well. All right. What, what, what segment are you really looking forward to? And if there is a segment that you just want to, like, let, let it come and go because I, I really don't, uh, you know, tell us. I, I want to hear from each of you. Which segment is the segment that you are really, really looking forward to? And is there a segment from the five segments that, boy, still the butterflies are there? Let's hear you. I am really looking forward to the costume and the swimwear segments. I have been working tirelessly in the gym and I really cannot so wait. You're ready to strike that pose, right? Yes, I cannot wait to just bring it. Hmm. And my most dreaded segment, and I, I'm sure the ladies can relate when I say this, the interview segment. However, I have been preparing for it, so... Mm-hmm. I feel I would be able to execute on the night. If you were to change something with the interview segment, what would it be? When we were with the girls um, on Tuesday, I gave my, my whole opinion about this and I felt that it should be more comfortable setting. Like we sit and we have a conversation. Yes. Oh, if, yes. if, we were to cha- if you were to change something about the interview segment in particular, what would you change? I, f- I feel that initiative would be a, a good one. It would relax the ladies more and it would flow better in in instead of being a nerve-wracking situation mm. what about you dennis here which segment are you really really looking forward to and uh, which segment you'll say boy you know tell us actually i would say there are two of them so i look forward for the spectacular way around and the swimwear where i can show my petite and old body and tell you, slim girls just look good, you know, in, in, in swimming. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as Kian said, the question and answer wrong, but I have been working very hard to improve my speech, uh, my speech and communication. So I know for a fact that I will definitely execute it best way that I can on the night of the show. All right. So you're ready for this, right? In in terms of the question and answer wrong, though, if there was something you had, you would, you could change, what what would it be? I would definitely want it to be like a more relaxed setting where the contestants would be able to sit. This will keep them at ease, mm-hmm. and they would be able to better respond to the questions. Seeing that they are standing, you can actually see the nerves in their hands or their legs literally shaking. But while sitting, they are more comfortable, you know, relax. This will give them the best uh, opportunity to execute it well. All right. What about you, Kiana, with this two-part question? I, on the other hand, am looking 
particularly forward to the talent round. And I know where I say that most hmm. people have a big smile on That's their face. That's where you're strong, eh? <laughs> but I feel like in my talent throne, it will bring more awareness to the actual meaning behind my platform. And I don't think I'm dreading any particular round. I mean, in ranking, I don't think I have I have a I have a wrong last, you know, honestly. And when I say last, I mean, I'm dreading it. I don't want to wish it could just be erased from the agenda. But I, I, I have a, I'm looking forward to all of them in one way or another. Right, let, let's go back to the telephone. And by the way, we have a lot of messages and comments and questions as well eh, on social media. But let's go to the telephone. You are on route to the throne. Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to my Dominican beauties. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, I know for sure. Dominica is a land of beauty and splendor, and I've seen, I've seen some beautiful ladies, and right now I'm seeing the last three. I want to just express my, or share a little bit of advice while I'm on the phone. I first want to say thank you, ladies, for the opportunity to participate in this year's 2024 Queen Pageant. I am just here to render some support like everyone else behind the scene. I have been listening attentively to each and every one of you. And I am confident that you all are going to perform to the best of your abilities and provide the audience with a show ever to remember. However, there are seven beautiful Dominican ladies, or six, vying for the title of Miss Dominica 2024. Right now, you guys, you all are winners right now. But the night of the pageant will finally determine who sits on the throne. Therefore, I wish every one of you the best of luck going forward. Thank, Thank you. you Thank so much. My major concern is um, to all contestants, which is always a, a, a flaw in the show, is the question and answer segments. We have various segments and everybody has their likes and dislikes, but that here is always critical. I've listened to right now, and everybody seems to be, that seems to be their main concern. However, I'm not as good as you guys, and as the previous caller said, it takes bravery to get out there and perform. So just be patient. Pause. Think. And respond to the best of your ability. This is a very, very significant part of the show. And it most times take the winner to the throne. Mm -hmm. So relax, mm -hmm. take it off, yeah. and then perform to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm. I'm Dominican by born. I'm not awake. I'm not in, at home, but I'm just rendering my full support to right. each and every one. All right. Thanks again for okay. participating. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so more advice for you. For, for you. Take it, especially from a gentleman, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's that's very good. He touched a lot of areas that you can take a lot from what he said. We have a lot of um, comments, as I say. Um, boy, we don't even have time to go to the comments. I'm looking <laughs> at it. But there's something I seen about Jessica Ricketts Esprit saying, loving the orange. Kiki? Who is Kiki? Me. Oh, you. <laughs> so that's your pet name. Yes. So um, she's saying she's loving the orange. Um, Boa Boa is very proud of Yuki and Adaya, so that's mm -hmm. from Africa, just stilt walkers. And there are so many more, <laughs> you know, people just rooting for you, for you all. And I really love this. I, I, I really love that the community can take ownership and embrace this so they can say, that is my queen, you know. Yes. And Sufre will say, that's my queen, you know. So mm -hmm. my queen is better than your queen. And we can, if we can do that, you know, in a, in a nice way, you know. And yeah, that, that will go well for, for, for the competition. And um, so, yes, a lot of advice for you. Take the advice. Let's go back for another call on the telephone. I'm getting some feedback. Hello. Uh, good morning. Okay. Uh, good morning. Yes, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. I want to say good morning to the lovely phenomenal queen. Good morning. Good morning. I want to also say good morning to morning Alexis. You have done a wonderful job of the the PR of the festival committee. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. Let me also say good morning to Miss Boston. 
Hi, you sir. are doing an excellent job thus far. I'm all the lovely ladies here this, this morning. I'm listening to you guys and you are doing excellent. Ms. Daya, good morning. Good morning. I'm uh, looking forward for February to see you guys in, in your spectacular um, rooms and doing what you have to do. I want to wish you guys all of you all, all the best on the night of the competition. And Ms. Vasquez, you know, we are with you 100%. To continue to do what you're doing and we are listening. All the best, ladies. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you, good advice here coming to all of you. When somebody wishes you all the best and you get this sense that they mean it, go with it. Go with it. So, yeah, get ready for this. But how do you, like, um, like maneuver this overlap that you are facing, obviously? in terms of preparation, your social life. I know I think Denise just spoke a, a little about it earlier, or one of you. But how does that work for you? Um, because I know in 24 hours in one day, what like is, is more, more hours for you all, you know, in terms of what you have to put in. You have to go to the gym, you have so many things to do, you haven't got the social life. Blah, blah, blah. How, how do you like let it work for you? When I decided to compete in this pageant, I understood what it would take because I did my research and... I knew it would have been a sacrifice, so I am basically embracing every bit of the journey, and I know that at the end, it will all be worth it. So I am focused on what it is that I have to do, and just staying on that path. It is very time-consuming, of course, but with the support of my team and my work which is also my sponsor J Astafan and Company Limited they make it they make it available for me to have my practice sessions and still work so this this, this helps me along the way and um, of course I must thank Discover Dominica Authority because they always ensure that they provide the schedule for us to accommodate our practices and our time to actually meet with the other contestants. So this helps. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kiana? For me, how I work around it would just be to stay focused. You can't have everything in life and I chose to go on this journey. Therefore, I have to do what I have to do. And if I, when I just stay focused and Everyone around me understands anyway. Can we understand that you have practice, but on your lunch, let's go for lunch. It really helps lighten the moods and they work around my very extra busy schedules and I appreciate them and love them for that. But I just stay focused and stick to the game plan. Mm -hmm. Here's a, a scenario, something I'm thinking. The, the queen show comes on that night. The winners, the winner, and you know the other participants in terms of their places and all so all, all that goes on you go home what will you do the next day well the same day really sleep all day w what is the plan to go to sleep because you'll be tired right i will be tired but hmm. i know i will be celebrating and partying like a rock star the next day <laughs> win lose or draw yes, yes all right so you'll not go and sleep all day and just like go in your room and just shut your door and just take all that sleep that you missed nope what, what it is the <laughs> carnival season and i ensure to enjoy every bit of it all right so you're a carnivalist yes I'm a a carnival too. Lover. all right nice then you see what, what about you so the next day i will definitely be off so <laughs> i need my beauty sleep for all mm -hmm. of the month which I have been preparing for Miss Dominica, I will take it. I will rest myself and then I will definitely go out with my friends to just have my mind at ease to comfort myself. And of course, I will be going out with my team because they have been with me along the journey and I must show my appreciation for them. Mm -hmm. What about you, Kiana? For me, I would go to work. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. I actually the show is on a what? The show is on a Thursday. On a, on a Thursday. Thursday. Okay. As a public servant, I have to go to work. And I really don't mind it because my work is another source of support for me and encouragement for me. And I know if and when I do become Miss Dominica 2024, they will embrace me. And it's just me at home. 
So why stay home when you could be at work celebrating <laughs> and doing work? <laughs> so my plan is actually to go to work. <laughs> All right. Wow. Interesting. So, so Monel, let, let us look at the logistics. So let's look at the basic information that we need about the, 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 the pageant in terms of tickets and how much we have to pay for VIP and all of that. So here are the details. The show, the Miss Dominica Carnival Queen pageant, it takes place on February 8th, 2024. That is Thursday at 8 p.m. at Carnival City. Carnival City, otherwise known as the Windsor Park Sports Stadium, four court. Gates open from 6 p.m. So we have six contestants and five rounds. The six contestants, their names. Georgiana Albert of Luda, contestant number one. Nikes Morancy of Dubla, contestant number two. Royana Martin of Soufrier, contestant number three. Kiana Bastier of Stock Farm, contestant number four. Denisia Laura of Soufrier, contestant number five. And Kiana Dyer of Mondaniel, contestant number six. Six contestants, five rounds. The rounds. Round number one, National Spectacular Wear Creation. In this round, you can expect something natural, spiritual, abstract, something local, something Dominican. The second round, we have the talent round. And that is followed by the swimwear round, then the evening wear round, and lastly, the question and answer round. Tickets. So there are ticket options. You can decide, okay, I want to go to VIP, I want to sit, I want to stand. VIP. $280, sitting, uncovered sitting, $100, and standing, $70. Now, there's a VIP early bird ticket, and that is $175. Tickets are not yet available. They will be available soon, and as soon as they are available, that information will be made public. Are available, you can find tickets at Deepex Scholar Lab, Bullseye Pharmacy in Goodwill, and also access767.com online. So if you prefer to buy your tickets online, you have that option. If you want to go to a shop to get it, be it Bullseye or Deepex, you can do that as well. And I want to spend some time just to say thank you to the sponsors who made this event possible. And not just this one, but Mass Dominique on a whole. So our platinum sponsor is MMC. MMC came on board. Thank you very much for being a platinum sponsor for Mass Dominic 2024. The real mass coming through with $150,000 for Carnival. Thank you very much. We're also saying thank you to the government of Dominica, Discover Dominica Authority, Flo Dominica, Belfast Estate, Dominica National Lottery, Auto Trade, Fine Foods Inc., J. Asifans and Company Limited, Ocean Edge Hotel, Josephine Gabriel and Company Limited, and Jolly's Pharmacy. Thank you very much to our sponsors. So this we can expect an evening of glitz and glamour, of excitement, of fun, of high energy. The contestants have been working very hard. They are very talented individuals. And I'll always say this everywhere I go, this is the first time that I cannot tell you which individual is going to be the winner of this competition. So I'm just coming to have fun and anybody who wins, I will celebrate that individual because as of now, I cannot select a winner. For me, it's too early to tell. Mm -hmm. And a lot of persons would have expressed that to me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I love it that persons are supporting the communities rallying behind their individual. So I want this to continue. You don't have to be like me, but I want you to continue rallying behind your your contestant. I feel it helps them to grow and to be better. Just knowing that somebody has your back. If something happens, they can, you know, shake you up and boost you up. That's a good feeling. So applaud you guys. Good job. Thank you very much. The excited Monel Alexis. Um, Cornelia um, Nella Adams is saying, I really wish that the ladies continue with their platforms to create positive change and yes. impact even after the competition. So I'm coming to this. I haven't listened to this message because I wanted to ask you a question at now. What are you going to do after the Queen Show as far, your plat as far as your platform is concerned? What is the plan? What's on the agenda? Okay. Like I mentioned earlier, I created social media platforms to start encouraging people to hone in on the importance of their health and this is something that I want to continue advocating for. It is something I'm very passionate about and we will continue to sensitize the public on the importance of that and mm -hmm. giving them advice as well. All right, so you have already started. Yes. And um, the plan is to continue, even after the competition. That's good. Yes. What about you, Dennis? Your, what is your plan? To create an organization called Pretty Hoods to bring awareness to body shaming. 
in partnership with the Ministry of Education and of course the Discover, Discover Dominica Authority. This will bring awareness to persons and it will educate everyone about the effects of body shaming and body positivity and why we should motivate others and feel love and love the skin that we are in. And of course I will definitely use my Facebook page to promote and encourage other persons as well. Right. Before I come to you, Kiana, let me just say, um, E. Alice Severdupin is saying congratulations to all the young ladies who have entered this year's pageant. My little advice on the question and answer segment, listen to your questions carefully and be mindful of your content. Fluency is also good, however, your responses should be logical and relevant. Best of luck to all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, Kiana. For me, I do plan on continuing my platform even after the pageant. If I win, I would like to do it through the platform of Miss Dominica. If not, I plan on doing it through collaboration with Africulture Student Workers and different cultural groups. So I do plan on developing different workshops and seminars to get the young people involved and interested, creating an appreciation for our culture. All right. I tell you, positive comments on all of you. I've just seen one right now, so I'll just say it. Kiana is a vibe. Somebody say you're getting them chills, Kiana, but anyway. <laughs> um, there are a lot more, of course, and when you get a chance, um, you will go through it and you will learn from a lot of it, before, you know, because a lot of people are giving you all advice as well. So we're coming to the end. Look at how the time has gone, you know, come and gone already. So what I'll do is get closing remarks from you. Tell me how you felt about this whole, you know, conversation as well. I love the conversation this morning. Thank you to DBS for the opportunity to for allowing us to speak on our platforms and for allowing Dominicans to get a little bit of insight on us and who we are as individuals. And I would like to thank Team Kiki for getting me here thus far and to thank my community for their support as well as Triage Health for supporting me in bringing out my platform. All right, Denisia. It was definitely better than I thought because I was a bit nervous, but oh no. you definitely you, made no. me feel comfortable. You can be nervous with me. <laughs> you mm -hmm. made me comfortable. And of course, having the lovely ladies next to me, it made me feel relaxed. And of course, thank you guys for having us and the other contestants who were there on Tuesday. And let me thank everyone who has been supporting me thus far along my journey, whether it's my community, in my work, well, everyone around the world, thank you for your support and your love, and it was an encouragement. And let me say a big thank you to my sponsor, J. Astafan and Company Limited, right place, right price. Of course, come on down to get your groceries or whatever the case may be. We It's a one-stop shop. Right. Pretty little lady from Sufri. Yeah. By the way, let me come back to you, um, Kian. I think Dennis would have answered earlier on. But what stands out um, from your, in, your, in terms of your community? What really stands out? Is it like maybe football or whatever, what a culture, whatever? I know we spoke about the Pitit Sufre cultural group and all, and all of that. But for your community, what really stands out? Generally, Stock Farm is a quiet community. And I feel our safety. We, we are a very tight-knit community. We know everybody and we look out for everyone. So I would generally point out our safety. All right, nice. What, what stands out for you, Kiana, if your community, before you get to give your closing remark? I would say the camaraderie. Mona Neal is a quote-unquote weird community. There's not a lot of neighbors, but when you do see the people, whether it may be the person who lives down the road or the person who lives up the hill, it's always, hi, hello, how are you? What's going on? How has life been? A little five-minute conversation. I don't think I've ever passed, whether it be on a vehicle or walking, and see someone and not have a five-minute conversation. So I think what stands out is the camaraderie among us. All right, that's good. So let's get your closing remarks as well. My closing remarks would be thank you for having us. It was a pleasure being here. It's been a while since I've been in the studio on DBS. So thank you for allowing me that opportunity again. Thank you to the listeners for the advice and the wonderful comments and remarks. Thank you to the support of my community, my church community, my Bois Bois family, and my Kiana Council and Team Kiana. And big thank you to my sponsor, Ocean's Edge Hotel, for taking a chance on me 
as I am their first ever sponsored contestant in the pageantry world. So thank you everybody for listening to us. Thank you for tuning in and thank you Ivana for having us. Well, I thank you. I really enjoyed it as well. I was looking forward to, you know, part two. We had fun on part one. I was looking forward to part two. And that's something that we always do on DBS because we see it not just as exposing the girls and for the public to know, you know, get a closer look of, of who they are. But we want to find out who you really are, you know, and get you in that comfortable setting where we can have a conversation, a nice discussion. So I really enjoyed it today. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I wish all of you all the best. And um, there's so much happening for young people. Before so we end, yes, go ahead. We okay, might uh, interrupt end, me, of let course. Let me just encourage everyone to come and support the Six Lovely Contestants on February 8th at Carnival City to come and witness everything that we have, talent, personality. This is definitely going to be in the history books. Mm. So if you miss it, then as Miss Morning Alexis said, blame it. Blame yourself, sorry. Sorry, talent, elegance, poise, charm, grace, everything like good. Pizzazz and you know that stride on the mix. Oh my goodness, I can just see this, eh? So you all are ready to do a big show. Big show. From since from the get go. I the the first wrong would be like like an introductory wrong, right? When you all come dancing and you say something. That's that's how it is. I'm I'm on for this year in terms of how they come on on stage first. To introduce well, there, it's going to be slightly different. You don't have to give us all this year, but I, I am not oh, going yeah. to go in into mm, the Don't tea. divulge. I, I want persons to come and experience it because it's an experience. And at DDADFC, we like creating experiences, and we have a great crop of individuals this year, like we've had in the other years. So come and see. You know, uh, we know that there are five rounds. There are five rounds, six contestants, and uh, every year it's important to do something slightly different. Because after a while, isn't as consistency is important uh, for different events, competitions, pageants. It's important to change something yes. around at mm -hmm. some point. Mm -hmm. So like that. that has been taken into consideration. Persons will see something different at the start of the pageant this year. And also we are going to be celebrating or giving awards to a few individuals who have been contributing to pageant over the years. So it's important to show gratitude. So this year we are showing gratitude to the people who have been supporting pageants in Dominica. And I just want to admonish the contestants to remember after the competition, it's also critical to be kind or show gratitude to the community because the community is coming in large numbers to support. That's, that's so remember important. the community at the end of the journey. So be it Remember the, the bus drivers and you know yes. what? Yes. Even <laughs> some of the initiatives that they were they plan to conduct in in a large scale. Just remember home is where the heart is, start with your community, give back to your community and then branch out. Get the support and then branch out. It's important to say thank you. Okay, ladies. Yes. So we have that locked, right? Gratitude is a must. <laughs> it is, it is. But again, thank you so much. I wish we could just stay on, but I know you all have busy schedules. Eh? I know there's all, <laughs> as soon as you all live there, you know, before you take out some photos, as soon as you, you all live here, it's, you know, back to, you know, the busy schedule. But um, I wish you all the best, as I, I tell the last group, you know, the world is your oyster. There are so many opportunities. There's so much that you can do as, as young people to let your light shine. When you hit that stage, let people see who you are. Just wear your crown. Whether you don't get the physical crown, you have a crown. I have my crown. If you're not seen, but I have my crown. <laughs> so wear your crown, wear it proudly, you know, and mash it on RTS, you know. And yeah, strut your stuff, but and show Dominicans, you know, what, and not just Dominicans, what you're made of. All the best, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mona. Uh, yes, Mona. Quickly, just want to sure. remind everybody one more time that the show is on February 8th mm -hmm. at 8 p.m. That is on Thursday, February 8th, 8 p.m., Carnival City. Gates open from 6 p.m. Your tickets will be available very soon, but just keep the prices in mind. If you want to stand, $100. Mm -hmm. You want to sit, $70. VIP is $200. EC dollars. Early bird VIP, $175. This is going to be an exceptional event. So I encourage each of you to come and join and support all the contestants. It is going to be an experience. And we welcome you to the experience. All right. All the best, ladies. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. All right. Thank you.